dog's skin. Georgia. Once there were three brothers who decided to take their wives from the place where their arrows would fall after being shot from their bows. They shot their arrows. The arrows of the two elder brothers fell on noblemen's houses, so they led home their noble wives. The youngest brother's arrow fell into a lake, so he married a frog that was croaking. But his brothers did not like this and threw him out of the house with his frog. He started living in a small cottage where the frog took off the frog skin and turned into a beautiful maiden. The boy seized the frog skin and burnt it. Soon the news spread to the whole countryside that the man possessed a lovely woman who had come to him from heaven. When the lord of the country heard of this he threatened the boy that he would be killed if he did not give him his wife. The boy sought the help of the lord's mother in heaven who gave him a casket. The boy took the casket to the lord. The lord opened the casket and there came forth fire which swallowed him up. The she-wolf, Croatia. There was an enchanted mill. A she-wolf always haunted it. A soldier went once into the mill to sleep. Just then, the she-wolf came in to look about the mill to see whether she could find anything to eat, but found nothing. She shed off her wolf skin and turned into a damsel and slept there. The soldier nailed fast the skin to the mill wheel. He met the damsel and proposed her to marry him. Not able to find her skin, the damsel agreed to marry the soldier. They soon married and had a son. One day, the son went to the fields along with his father. He told his father that he had heard that her mother was a wolf. He asked if it was true. His father replied that it was true and showed him her skin on the mill wheel. On reaching home, he at once said to his mother, Mama, you are a wolf. I saw your skin. His mother asked him, Where is my skin? He said, There, on the mill wheel. His mother thanked his son for rescuing her. Then she went away and was never seen again. Greenbeard, Lithuania Once in a city, there lived a very wealthy merchant. He had a very beautiful daughter who wished to marry a man who possessed green beard. In the forest near the city lived 24 robbers. Their captain dyed his beard green. On listening the girl's desire, he then went to marry the merchant's daughter. The girl liked him and his green beard and their marriage was fixed. Before wedding, he invited her to his great mansion in the forest. Next day, she went into the forest and found no mansion but only a small house with two lions chained near the door. She went inside and saw a little bird in a cage who told her that the robbers were human eaters. So she lay down under the bed. When the robbers came home and fell asleep, she escaped. The lions began to roar loudly and awakened the robbers. But the girl reached home safely. Next day, the robbers went again to rob the merchant and kidnap his daughter. But the merchant's men captured them all and put in prison. The girl no longer showed any desire for green beard. The dog and the wolf. Bohemia. There was a peasant family who had a house dog named Sultan. When Sultan grew old, the peasant drove him away, thinking that he was no longer of any use to his family. Sadly, he wandered about and reached a forest. He encountered a wolf that intended to eat him. Sultan suggested that the wolf should feed the dog first and gobble him when he became fattened. The wolf agreed and fed him well for many days till Sultan was strong enough to take up the cudgels with him. The wolf himself ate a little to feed the dog best. So Sultan gained in flesh and strength while the wolf equally fell off. When the wolf tried to eat Sultan, he made a bold dash and the wolf lay on the ground overcome by Sultan. Then in one spring, the dog held the wolf by the throat and put an end to him. The news of Sultan's heroic deeds spread far and wide, even to that village where Sultan had formerly served. The consequence was that the peasant family took back again their faithful house dog and lovingly cared for him. 
Thanks for watching. Do like, share, subscribe to Sahil Book House.